Hey guys, what's going on? White Fox 1225 here, and today I have a little bit of a different video than I usually do. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, publishers and why publishers are not needed anymore and why they're hurting the gaming market um, and hurting ga video games in general. So, uh, we're not going to be talking about a specific game. I mean, I will be using examples, but this really is about the whole video game market in general. So, so first I'm going to talk to you guys about why I don't like publishers, and then I'm going to uh, talk about what I think should replace publishers um, and just really why we don't need them anymore. So, really, publishers have just been causing lots of problems in video games lately. So, first off, I want to say that not all publishers are bad, and not all publishers have been causing problems. Like, uh, in, when I think of a good publisher, I think of Bethesda. Um, you know, Bethesda makes games like, you know, Skyrim, the Fallout series, but they also publish games. They publish Dishonored, um, and they're really, they're great, and they, from uh, what I understand, they're really good with working with, you know, Arcane and the developers, because uh, Bethesda, you know, they know what it's like to make a game. They know that um, a game takes time and a game needs to be a finished product when it comes out. But, you know, when I think of a bad publisher, you know, the first one you think of is always EA. And EA has caused so many problems for so many games. And, and the real, the only reason uh, that they've been doing this is just for money. Um, it's quite simply EA only cares about money. And it's this problem with a lot of publishers. And it's sad because, uh, you know, there was a time where publishers actually cared about the quality of the game. But, you know, now it's just become a money grab for them. They don't care about if the product's good or not. They just care if it's going to make the money. So, you know, EA, they put Battlefield 4 out even though they knew it wasn't finished because uh, they just knew people would buy it no matter what. And they're right. Lots of people did buy it and lots of people were d disappointed about it and lots of people probably won't buy the next Battlefield game. But they don't really care. They just care about the constant flow of money. They just want the money more and more. So, uh, you know, DICE has said a lot. It was the EA's fault. You know, they rushed them out and they didn't have time to, you know, polish all the bugs. Um, and this wasn't the first game that EA did this with, you know, um, I never played it, but, um, with Dragon Age 2, EA did the same thing, they rushed them out, and Dragon Age 2 apparently just wasn't a, a finished project. Again, I've never played Dragon Age 2, it's just something I've heard from, um, a lot of other gamers. So, like I said, in my opinion, EA is the worst, but they're not the only ones who do this, there are lots of publishers who really just care about the money. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about um, the Elder Scrolls Online pre-order. Um, a lot of people are mad about their whole race, um, the race of the Imperial bonus. You know, lots of people want to play as the Imperials, but maybe don't want to have to pay $100. Personally, it didn't really affect me at the beginning, because, you know, I'm going to buy the Imperial Edition anyway. But uh, the more I think about it, the more, you know, it's been in every Elder Scrolls game. Uh, it should definitely be in uh, this one. And it shouldn't have to be, there shouldn't be a pay gate on it. You shouldn't have to pay to get it. Um, but again, that's really just Zenimax, I think, wanting more money. And, um, you know, Zenimax does, um, you know, they have developers work on the game, but they also have, uh, you know, suits there who, um, you know, just want the money and they just want the company to make money. Uh, so it's a growing problem in the game industry. And, you know, um, another problem is, you know, like I said, uh, publishers just not caring if the game is good or not. So they'll put a really bad game on the market and they'll know it's unfinished and it's not, doesn't have the capacity of being good, but they'll publish it because they know it'll make at least some money. Like, um, I haven't played either of these games, but if you think of, you know, Take Down Red Saber or uh, Recoil, those were both published by 505 Games and they were just completely awful products. Just not ready for the market at all and just maybe not even you know worth being on the market um really just bad games and i um, mean they don't care 505 didn't care they just wanted the money so uh the overall problem is just that publishers just don't care about the games they care about the money now uh what should we do about this and what where should the video game market go and where should the developers you know go to get money to make games well i mean if you look at some of the new games that have been coming out uh, a lot of them have been using kickstarter and this is this is perfect because you know kickstarter it has a lot of advantages um you know you just put your goal and then people you know they essentially pre-order the game they give you money and then you can make the game with the money from that so Instead of having to answer to a publisher about why you're doing a certain thing, you're answering to the players. So it really does put the players in a place in advantage where they're funding the game, they're funding its creation, and they're also the ones who are going to be helped develop the game. You know, they don't have to have any crazy pre-order bonuses because, you know, the people who really wanted to pre-order the game already helped put money into the game in the development. 
Uh, so it's a really good system, and lots of games has, have been doing this. You know, Broken Age raised a million dollars overnight. Star Citizen raised, already has like $36 million. You know, Kingdom Come, I don't know how much money they have, but they already reached their goal. So it's not hard to make money on Kickstarter. It's not like it's going to be, you know, it's going to str be a struggle for the developers. Um, you know, a million dollars overnight, that's a lot of money for a game. I mean, uh, that's like essentially just having your game, you know, funded overnight, and that's crazy. So... Really, you know, there is no need for developers, and this system works so much better, you know. When a game is funded and created by people who care about the game, care about the quality, it's a much better product, and it makes a strong community of people who actually care instead of people who want to make money. So that was pretty much my rant on publishers. Um, as you guys can tell, I really, I'm so against publishers, and they just really uh, make me angry. You know, EA has been doing some really corrupt stuff, you know. Not even if you're just talking about, you know, making bad products, you know, paying YouTubers to... Um, make videos on their games to mention their games to just talk about their games it's really it's just it's dirty it's corrupt and really it's just it's more of the point they just care about the money they don't care about their morals they don't care about the games they just care about money uh, and it's a huge problem and it needs to be fixed so uh, really it's I'm at the point where I'm boycotting EA games I don't know where I'll buy any more games made by EA and it pains me because you know some of the developers are really you know skilled and really working hard on the product but just I don't know I'm tired of buying broken games at launch and I'm tired of supporting people who only care about the money so um, it's at that point for me, but I don't know how you guys are feeling, you know, tell me in the comments below, but I really hope the future lies in Kickstarter, and I really hope more and more games start using this, because really, publishers uh, are not needed with that, and if we have people who actually care about the game and want to fund it, uh, they can do that on Kickstarter, so that's what I'm hoping people will start to do, and I'm hoping this direction game, the games uh, start going in. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I will actually be in Canada uh, this whole weekend, and I won't have access to, you know, um, a computer to make videos and stuff. So I'm not going to be around, so no Elder Scrolls Online Saturday this weekend. Um, I'll probably post one, uh, post a longer one next weekend. So uh, this is all the videos you guys are going to get until probably Mond uh, Monday next week. So expect a video then, and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, another Elder Scrolls Online beta this weekend, so uh, enjoy yourself, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.